Alrighty guys, my name is Jabe Time. Oh yeah. And today we are here with Fierce to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. This is the newest one. I think it's episode five. I just played uh Iron Bark Lookout. So now it's time for a little a little getaway. I sure hope we get away from the killer. <coughs> anyway, let's get right into it. <laughs> Need a coffee to get done with the day. I'm an office worker? Oh man. I'm gonna die here instead of dying out there. Okay. Where would the coffee be? I don't know why I'm looking in the fridge. Here we go. Nice. Did I get. Oh, okay. On. Heck yeah. Are we gonna put a... Are we gonna put a cap on this? Or are we just gonna drink it like this and burn our lips off? Oh, okay. Where are those at? Uh... That's a straw. I don't need that. Someone left their trash here. Oh, a pizza! <gasps> it's 420. It's always 420. I swear it was 420 on the other one. Cap. Am I blind? I am blind. Sip, sip, sip. We need to use the restroom. Excellent. I can't see myself. Vampire. Um. I can't throw it. You know what? Just throw it over there. That's enough. What is that? What am I looking at here? Oh. Oh, look at that! Another. Another drink. Um. If it were me, I would go to this one. Um, there's no one. No one's gonna be here, right? Oh, there's someone here. Is that a man? You're in the wrong bathroom, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Fierce of Fathom does that every single time and it gets me every single time. Why'd you look so dark? You look like a dark figure. <sighs> Whoa, man, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. Uh, it's okay. I'm sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here. There's a light. Uh, no, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. <laughs> Must have skipped Slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor. All over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's really rude, actually. Well, I, I, I need to get back to it. I don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Well, uh, actually, it wasn't me. I threw, I threw a soda can and a coffee cup. Uh, let me just pick that up. Was it me? Was it me? <laughs> it was me. Pick it up. Uh. Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh oh. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah, I guess so. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Are we gonna be with someone during this whole thing? Oh no. Hey. Yes. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, yeah. save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Great. That is true. Uh, we would I'll save let some you money. Get back to work then. 
Or save gas, I mean. Great. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What's that? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. I'm sure, I'll find something affordable. Why would I hang up right here? That'd be mean. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Uh, I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Yeah, I get All right. it. Talk to you later, Harp. Bye bye. Cool. Can I do it on this computer? Browser. Uh, find. Oh, okay. Rentacabin.com. Rentacabin.com. Feeling unlucky. Uh, I'll get some games in real quick. Try. What was if I mess up? Uh. Oh my God. Let, let never throw. Ah! Time to lock in. I got this. Uh, 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 cold, very, my, no, watch, family, those single, come on, come on, come on, proper, lake, length, no, fight, measure, eh, come on, come at me, am I about to beat the level? Am I about to escape? Did I beat the level? Yeah, I did it. All right. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, Woodbury. That's it. Uh oh, I can actually book it. This is so cool. Can I make this window bigger? I can't. Oh, these are too expensive. No, they're not. Why? Okay. How about we all get together and pay for a better one? You know? This one has Wi-Fi. This one also has Wi-Fi. This one doesn't have Wi-Fi. This one has Wi-Fi. Okay. No, <gasps> there's fishing too. Actually, guys? Yep, there's fishing in this one. We're doing this one. Two reviews, 34 reviews, 23 reviews. Can I click on the reviews? Hmm. Oh, I wish it was that easy. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. By who? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of de deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. Hmm. I'm Sydney Harper. And this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of the work. And my friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Oh, so we're all friends. The plan was simple. We ran a small cabin, closed our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Dang, do we really get to hang out with, like, some people? We're not alone? We're not going to be alone in this? Mike! You're playing the PSP, dude? What are you playing? That is literally the PSP. Oh, that's not, Mike. I've seen you around, haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Cindy, nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late for work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a consulting firm. Oh, I see. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. Well, maybe... Oh, okay. See ya, man. How do I... How do I answer that? I can't answer? Okay. I guess I'm just gonna... No! Open the... Uh-oh. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward t to it. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in the lockbox with the front door. The code is 5176. Okay. 
Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay. That's kind of weird. I feel like our whole vibe together isn't the best. Is that him? Mike? Harp. Hug. Why aren't you voiced? That's still how you hug people? Why aren't you hugging me like you miss me? Uh, just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Uh, chuckle, long hug. You look good. That was like a few seconds longer. So, uh, you look good. So do you, Mike. You're gonna store your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alright. Let's... Let's go. Um... Oh, wait. I think I left my bag over here, Mike. I'm sorry. Also, like... That ice chest is gonna go fine, by the way. Should be careful with that. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this! I'm gonna leave that open so everything falls out. Harp, isn't it weird? We should dream about escaping our college, and now we're here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Hmm. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Uh. Um. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? Oops. I didn't mean to press that. Working on this project that uses machines learning to predict market. Uh, sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do. We... We consult. <laughs> that sounds... Uh... Did you see that school bus? There's a school bus. Maybe it's a project. What? Alright. You know, someone's idea of turning into a tiny home on wheels or something. Oh, okay, I see. That's true. I guess. Anyway. Uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just want to check in and make sure things everything's okay. The roads in your room. If you're not far from here, please let us know when you arrive. Thanks. Uh, uh, the. Oh! Damn, dude. Oh, snap. He came out of nowhere. Seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Uh, message from the universe to leave. We're turning around. Right now. Go ahead. Yo, Harp. Check that out. What happened? You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This beach tree is exactly where it appears on my, on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I can eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Ooh. Oh, God. We gotta listen to the eating noises. No. Don't make me. Um. Is this like a... Is this for a pizza or is this for a slice? If a cow zone is $5, I'm pretty sure a slice is probably $3. They don't have salami. There's no... I'm looking at the menu! Come on in, Harp. Thank you. This just in. Reports of a strong snow <gasps> coming towards Woodbury. That's Queso! Residents are recommended to stay indoors and... That's Queso! During this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands, okay? Like, uh, the studio That's Queso! Here ...instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. <laughs> Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to... I don't know the other guy, nice. though. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should <laughs> just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. 
Damn. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How did? I'm a certified news anchor. <laughs> certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? What? Well, let's do it, punk. Why is this still live? We'll be right back after this commercial break. Why, why was that? Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Uh, is I guess so. Is your 9 to stressing you out? Uh, yeah. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. Oh, that's exactly what we we're doing. thousands of cabins Mike. readily available and accessible this, with the click of a button. With each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure uh, that your stay is top notch. <laughs> if only they would have picked a better picture from, for that one. Including. We'll just watch it like in the background if anything else comes up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, sir. How you doing, my friend? Not bad. You? Uh. I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Are you here for the pizza? Uh, no, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can, but you go and get some pizza first, and maybe we'll catch up later. All right. You okay? You okay, dude? Are you? Sounds like he's having a hard time. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. We'll get uh, three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Uh, most special pepperoni and another. No, no, no. We'll take one of these. I don't know what that is. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just a pizza today. Thanks. All right. Then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty for six slices of pizza. What is this round table? Did he make me pay? Hey, Mike, did you just make me pay? I'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Uh, long sniff, like like that. It smells so good in here. It does smell pretty good in here. What is that guy doing? Can you be back there, sir? Exhausted, desperately need no. I I wanted to go over there see if there's the. Oh, <gasps> can she not make it? Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. Oh, I know her. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. Wow. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. What? What the hell, Mike? Did you just send a noise voice message? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer, but I mean, we still have tomorrow, right? I guess we have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't like I, you don't know what I'm talking about. What, like smoke? Drink? Play Smash Bros? This is... This is, uh... Alright, you folks are all set. Thank you. Time to eat! Wow. This is... You're using whole boxes just for three slices? You're telling me this was $11? Actually... No, you tell me this is eleven dollars. This that's that's kind of expensive. Nom 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 nom. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. Uh, <laughs> can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass uh, pizza. I know, right? Uh, I have another one. Is this the special? Is this one right here the special? Uh, the most special? Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? What? You actually eat the crust? What do you mean? You don't? Uh, it's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? That is not the same thing. What is this guy talking about? Mike, I don't like you anymore. Oh, I already talked to you, dude. What do you need? I saw y'all pull and drive that nice old truck. Uh, are you just watching the pulls in and taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. 
Uh, is this gonna be a choice to like pick up a hitchhiker? Do I mind if I hitch ride with you? Uh, where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse, and twice as nice. So what do you say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Um. You know, in real life, I wouldn't. But, sure. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Uh, sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Yeah, he's right. Only two seats in the truck. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. Um... We would give you a ride, but there isn't a space. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. You gotta be stuffing me. Lady, no space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? No? I don't think there is a middle seat. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. I tried. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me wrong. Sorry, I'm just a cold and tired at all. Yeah, thanks. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna eat my crust now. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? He seemed harmless. You really never know these days. For all we know, he could have been another Ted Bundy, Harp. Well, he's leaving. Where's he gonna go? Oh, don't get hit by that car. Careful about that. Alright. Finishing the crust, because I like the crust. Mike... Alright, burp? I can press... Oh, I didn't burp. Whoops. Hey, we got up fast, dude! Can I get another slice? Holy, that was good. Uh... Alright then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Uh... Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm gonna drive so you can get a break. Take a uh, I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. Why? I mean, I just kind of want to drive, but I didn't think I'd be so, like, mean about it. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Deal. Give me your keys so I can steal this dang truck. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. Oh. Um. How did you say it from all the way over there? Come on, let's. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hey. 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 All right. Well, I hope you guys aren't using human meat or something. I'm just wondering why that guy said cheese only. Hey, it's he's back. Oh. He isn't back. He's just walking in place. You guys ready for my magnificent driving? Oh, I can't drive for reals? Oh, I didn't read the text message. Hey, Mike, I'm going to text and drive. Is that it? I don't think that's it. What does that sign say? Nothing. The car coming. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, you came out with me. What's up, dude? Why are we getting out here, Harp? Don't worry about it. I'm just checking the damage. See, man, there's nothing. There's nothing there. We should be getting pretty close. You remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Oh, wait. Here we are. We're here. We're, like, in Woodbury now. The only thing is, I still cannot see the house signs. Um, I drove past our cabin, past our cabin at first. Uh, oh, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. <laughs> what a way to park. Did we do any damage to the, oh, we hit a tree. Well, honestly, I thought we were going to be like in the middle of nowhere. So I'm perfectly fine with this. We're chilling. If we need help, we can just beg someone. 
you know? Five, one, seven, six. Um, there we go. This is a nice little area, I guess. I think we should go say hi to our neighbors and be like, hey, we're staying here tonight. Uh, do you know anything about your neighbor? What a great place. I know we can count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? There should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. Right, whatever, dude. I'll do... I'll do it. Dang it. Don't... Oh, can I get infinite? So many plates. Infinite plates. Mike, they're getting infinite plates here. Where are your damn groceries at? These? More milk. Lettuce. And now we got frozen... We got floating eggs. I need to close the mini fridge. Oh, that was the bathroom noise. I was about to say, what is that noise? Mike, 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 Mike. How's it going? Ooh, sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Uh, no worries. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anywhere else. Yeah, it's... Um... It's nice to get you away from the city. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee up your back. You go ahead, I'll start unpacking our bags. Our bags? Hey! But... You could... Our bags? Is this your stuff too? I don't... I want to check out the house more though, just so I know the layout. Oh, this is creepy. A Ouija board? Heck no, we're not playing that. If anything, we could play Tower Stack or maybe Whispers in the Dark. This is a nice bathroom. The smell alone told me pizza had really done my. Oh! 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 Uh. Hi, we checked in. This place is pretty nice. We should build it after the drive. Um, much better now. So we need to check out the place. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. After you. Um, already kind of did, but we can't go in here. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. That's what I'm saying. Um. Uh, the, uh, damn, really? This living room is bigger than your whole apartment? How much are you paying for that thing? Any more? Bedroom. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ! Mike. Oh my God, that scared me. What are you looking at? What are you doing here? I don't think you're supposed to speak. Let's just continue the tour. All right, now we can talk to this friggin' mongrel. Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. Uh, we're not. No, no, we're 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 just friends. Oopsie Daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, um, what? Uh, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. <laughs> now that you folks are here, let me show you around my house. Uh, right now? We already looked, dude. Go ahead and show us around. Post was a middle middle aged man. So are you Nick? Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for y'all real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Are you a squatter? Oh. Oh, here's the deck. I don't think this opened up last time. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. 
This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for the fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in. Oh, yeah, it said there's fishing here. Didn't it? Man, I want to fish. You know, if this guy was in here, I'd be like, all right, this place is okay. This is a nice getaway area. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's not all in here. Uh, if the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight right here on my rat. Storms like these, you know, never, you never, you never know, you never know. Uh, we might not need it. Trust me, it's always best to know where your light is. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. I mean, speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. You guys would be like, don't go in here. Um, yes. Nothing to worry about down here. Just water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in here. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. Uh, I kind of use this basement of storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Mm. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Um, why'd we stop? Mike? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from well told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they can hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really sleep down here. I don't know why we- Ah! I don't know why I would. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Oh. Did- <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Where'd you going? By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Mike, what do we think about this dude? Is it me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, cool. Let me know if he feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. You made me lose him! I don't know where he went! Oh, there he is. <gasps> Wait. I hope he doesn't hear this. Oh, man. Wait. What the heck? You guys seeing this? Hmm. Interesting. Well, he didn't fix the TV, so I don't even know why he was in there. Uh... Why is the microphone thing there? Oh, it's hiding. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to hide from something. Here it is. Do I just go in with my clothes on? Okay, I guess I do. Close all these doors. Actually, no, I should keep them open. <gasps> no! You left the door open! I, I left the door open. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Plan to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Yeah! I love fishing! Uh, oh yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. Dude. Game of the year. Game of the year, guys. Game of the year. We're about to fish. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Hope? Yep. Um... Oh, I see. So there's like a whole thing. Oh, yeah, this is great. Game of the year for sure. I can fish. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. Well, need to catch three carp, though. You're for the challenge? Yeah. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we're gonna catch some carp harp. Let me grab that bait. Um, where's the carp? Oh, there it is. We need corn. Oh, I see. What was that? 
Where? Oh, here it is. We got corn. Time to fish. I got fishing on my mind. Oh. Oh my god, this is like Stardew. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can grab it. Wait, this isn't it. Ah, don't push me, dude. I didn't realize I can just grab this. I made a mistake. Oh, here's a bucket. Is there one already in there? Oh, there is. You ready to fish? Hope those carp are biting today. Huh. I got this. Uh, who's that? You see that? Hey, there's someone over there watching us, Mike. He's walking toward us? Is that the hiker? Oh, that's the hiker. Oh, no. Hey, listen, man. I tried to give you a ride. We just don't have space for you, dummy. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Are you even trying? I saw that hiker, dude. He's around here. Didn't we drive for a while? How did he get here? Dang. Must have followed us. Come on. Yep. Oh, that's a bluegill. Man, we need a carp. There we go. More. That are, that's a great fish, Harp, but we're catching carp. Oh. Alright. Whatever, dude. Come on. Carp. I need that carp. Give me that carp! Are you serious? Well, this is a big one right here. Finally! Alright, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Uh, do you want to head back and throw these in the oven? Let's do it. I can't get that. Oh, hopefully that guy doesn't care. Let's close. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw it in ginger pasta cooking oil. Oh, God. Do I really actually have to do all that? Salt. Whatever this is. Um, marinade or paprika. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop the veggies? Um, on it. Uh, where's the fish? I just dropped all that marinade on the... Like, I flipped it over on accident. Where's the fish? God. Where did he put the fish at? Oh. We'll put that there. My hands were... Oh, my God. Oh, right here. I see. I'm a dummy. Um. Now, could you? Add, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some doing next to the living room. I guess we could. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. I can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next. To, okay, I know where they are. You know, I didn't want to grab Ouija, Ouija board, but I kind of want to now. There's Ouija board. I think this is Clue. Uh, tower stack. Keto. <laughs> what is this? Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Hol Molly once told me about how she contacted her dead grandma uh, through one of these boards. Damn. Damn, dude. Leave her alone. Hey. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. This has been the same advertisement like four times. Are you scared already? No, I was just turning off the... The game? Or the TV, I mean? No, I'm not scared, dog! Matter of fact... Put a, uh. Watch out for spiders down here. Dude, you trying to scare me? I'm gonna keep smacking with this until you get to where you need to go. Uh, let's turn off all these lights and see if, what if we can't see the board? 
Hey. You know what will make this even spookier? I thought I did! Oh my. Anyways, do you know how this works? Yes. Alright, then you go first. Aren't we supposed to do it together? What am I looking at? Uh, um. Are there any spirits who want to talk to me? Uh. What? 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 I can't. It just looks like he's moving it. Oh, I see. Uh, no way. Are you moving it? Oh, are both our hands on it? I see. That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Uh, uh, uh. F. F. Fa. Fa. Oh, okay. I didn't see what that said. It's impossible to see what it's saying. Um. Did you live in this house? Uh, what did he say? It's impossible to see what he's even saying. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Something's gonna fall. Something's gonna fall, dude. Whoa! Mike! Wow. What a... What a dweeb, dude. He left me here alone. Man... He skedaddled out of here, dude. There's some freaky stuff going on down there, Harp. That was weird. Uh, you mean weird how you left me? What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass, too. Would have been nice if you checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? I guess you chose flight. Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? It's fine. Mm. Food's ready. That was 30 minutes. Damn. Can I grab this teddy bear? Oh, man. Who's this nerd? Mmm. I think a show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. What show? Also, where's our friend at? Uh, Alright, I think I, I forgot to grab my, my serving. Alright. We, we uh... <laughs> oh, it's right there. I was about to say. <laughs> While that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. What are we watching? Gasoline soaked ramen. Now, this dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline uh -huh. and ramen. Okay, I'm, I'm following. This really soothes the soul. Almost like a cayenne cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. The show is pretty good. Sure Do you think so? Whole gasoline, since it's really bad for you. Maybe use two percent or half and half. Do not use diesel. Yeah, it'd be too so expensive. After letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. <laughs> this ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline molecules <laughs> merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um, uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Uh, uh, damn. Well, damn. Uh, I I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Poison is not poison. Look. Ugh. Bye, Grandma. Stay in your room! I don't want you wandering around the house again! What the? Get back in there! <laughs> okay, I'm glad.
glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways, I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. I hope y'all enjoy eating this as much as I will. Let's eat! Cooking with Jeffrey. What'd you guys think? Was that a pretty good episode? Oh, I was done with it? Hope that was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was really good. Make your game team harp. Yeah. Hey, anyways. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Uh. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Oh, okay. I get it. <clears throat> uh, alright. I'll clean up here. I will clean up? Dude, he's making me clean up for him? Are you serious? Take your plate. Think of cleaning up yourself, huh? Huh, buddy? Uh. I'm gonna get him one more time when he's going up. Uh. Oh. Oh. <gasps> now we're dishwashing. Okay. Are we gonna see something out the window? Um, Mike, was that you? Uh oh. All right. You guys know the Jabe Time Classic. We heard something. We gotta check everything in the house. Michael J. Carter. Well, I mean, if he's upstairs, he'll get Mike instead. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What do you mean? Walk slow. Is this just a prank? Oh no 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 He's trying to set me up He's trying to set me up guys He's trying to set me up I don't wanna go in there Oh god okay Where's he at? Ooh. I thought he would have to be behind the door. What the hell, Mike? I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on, that was just a joke. You're gonna go for the next round? What? Next round? Are we playing hide and seek, dude? Uh, fine, I guess. I'll count to ten. Uh oh. Check your emails first, buddy. I decided to hide in the basement. Uh, town flights. Right there! Whatever this is. Oh, I can see him. I can see him walking up if I- if- <gasps> Dude, if he just turned around right now, he'd be able to see me for sure. I can see through the door. Come on now. I know you're in there. I'm not. Oh god. Why did we leave the Ouija board right there? We didn't clean up? Some guess we are. Oh he found me, he found me, he found me, he found me. Oh, damn, that scared me. Aha, uh -huh, got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, damn it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Can I go in here now? All right, lights back on. Where do you think he is, guys? 
Where are you? You're in here, aren't you? Ah, I got you, eh? Got you. Hang on, Harper. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Uh, you gonna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear that? No, I did not. I swore my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Oh, dude, let's go up. Are you going to check it out? Uh, you're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. Uh, but one of us really should look. Where are you hiding those broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. <clears throat> Use that step so behind you and climb up. What? I don't see no steps. Oh. That wasn't behind me. Mike? Ooh. Oh, it's a cat! Oh, it's a cat! Hey, kitty. How are you? Do you want some food? This is a cute cat. Hey, kitty. You having a shower? I'm going to come back up here if I need to. All right, it's just gonna wander around. She cat. Hey, Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Uh, it was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carpet after I come find you. What? Oh my god, dude, we're doing this again. Can I go back up there? Oh man, in the tool shed backyard. And the sh and the and the tool shed in the backyard, really? This is cheating, man. We're going too far. Oh, yep. Man, where's Nora? Oh, <gasps> there's someone in the house. No, 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 no. There's someone in the house, dude. Mike, there's someone in the house! Uh, what? Damn, Harper, it took me a while to figure out. No, it didn't. It took you seconds. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. Oh my god, I'm getting tired. Look, I hide in the house. We're headed back anyway. You'll find. Oh no, dude. Mike, you're gonna die! My god! My god! I'm gonna do this really quick. I'm gonna cheat. One, no, 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 no. He's dead. Mike. Mike, no. What is that noise? Did you ask it? Wait. <gasps> Was it a squatter? Was that first guy a squatter? What, 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 what? I missed it. What's going on? What happened? I can't see what happened. Uh, Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. And there are seven. What? You're, what? Didn't think so. I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Oh, okay, so it was him. It was him then. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady. Remember? <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. You asked me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to... Arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet. I was just doing some work if you can't handle that. It's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Damn it, dude. I ruined it. I should have just looked. Get out of here, dude. Look, we already drove all the way here. Let's enjoy ourselves, Mike said. 
But by this time, I was already feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Well, I guess it was him. I At least it was him. Oh, no. What the? Oh, someone's walking around. Someone's walking around in here, dude. Anyone outside? Oh, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I thought you were someone else. Huh. Harper, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Yep, face through the door. <laughs> like usual. Storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. Should be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns a place. Uh, yeah, I wish he would just cut that out. I think we'd be skating here by yourself. I mean, I am a little freaked out. Don't lay on the bed. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, Mike. Mike, please. I don't want to. I'd rather go up with the cat and sleep on that mattress. Harp, you know, I've missed this. That's just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Uh, would you be doing this if Nora was here? <laughs> Got him. Is that a no? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. Uh, I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Uh, they sure did. Oh, <gasps> uh-oh. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Oh, no. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury. And my what? stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? 70 miles? 70 miles, Nora. 70 miles. Oh. Like you guys are going 70 miles. Hate. You know, this is my reaction to that. Uh, uh, We're timing hot, huh? but I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me go to dress and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Cindy, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. I always like doing things for you, Sydney. Dude, don't leave me alone here. I'd rather go with you. I'm gonna go up with the cat. We're soon as talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like you have to. Man. Uh. Oh, see you later, Mike. Hey, why don't you go get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than right, more than you right now. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Sure. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe. Drive safe. Hmm. What is that noise? I thought I heard something. Come and see for yourself. Burger's so delicious, your eyes will pop out. Can I turn the lights back on? I'm gonna do all the lights. I can't. Where? Did he say the flashlight was up here? Here we go. Cool. No. Just in case, guys. Let's throw this right here. 
Perfect. I told myself things would get better if I could get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Oh, boy. Come on. I hate home invasion stuff. It's terrifying. Who's that? Who's that? Someone's at the front door. Can I see them from up here? Hmm. Whoa! Dude! Who is it? Oh no. It's him! It's that dude! I'm going back to sleep. Do you have any time what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal uh, banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was kind of on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Um, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you kidding me? You're going to let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big as a B word here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Uh, please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellow's truck out here. I'm dialing 91199 right now. Shoot yourself. Get out of here, dude. Is he peeing? Uh, but let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. I promise a bee, eh, my friend? Oh, yeah? Where'd he go? Uh, he's right there. He hasn't left yet. <gasps> he's trying to go into the basement. Hey! Get out of here! Get off my property! Get off my property! Let's get some sleep so he hides in the basement. <clears throat> uh oh. Yeah, Pete opened that thing up. What the? Oh. He let out whatever was in there. Uh oh. Alright, let's just do that. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again. There was someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me and pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? I hope he does. He let out whatever was inside of the, the basement. I'm trying to see if there's any angles I can see what's out there. Oh yeah, P opened that up! Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell's going on here? Oh thank god you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. He opened up the thing and the- he opened up the thing! Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Uh. Uh. Ah! Oh! Oh my god. Oh. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike? He went to go pick up our other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're here all alone. <laughs> you're all here all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Storms like this brings out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Oh, God. 
no, 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 no. We're going in the attic. We're going in the attic. Oh no. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I've been. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, the front door. Which one should I do? Oh no, I knew it. I knew it was a squatter. What's he doing? Why can't I open the door? Everything's okay, miss? Yeah. Awful taste for it. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. We can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. Um, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? You're not Rick. The is my house. I will leave when I want to. Get out here before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, there will be one of us. Ah! What's up, not Rick? Uh, what's he doing? Shoot. Oh, I messed up. What if I go through the basement? Maybe the basement will work. Yeah, come over here, actually. Uh. Ah. Go in. I can't open that. Oh god, there isn't a place to hide down here though. He's going to find me. He's gonna find me. <gasps> Did he open the door? <laughs> what? Oh, dude. <sighs> We're going down here. We're hiding in here. Hide! Okay. We can see what he does now, too. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, that isn't the door opening. I thought he opened the door for some reason. Oh god. Don't see me, please. Don't check in here. <gasps> is he leaving? Oh, is he gonna open the door? <gasps> he went in. Oh boy. 
That scared me. <laughs> and now it's on a sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. <gasps> no! He, he closed the back. He closed that way too. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know where to go. this one more time ho, ho, ho. <gasps> come on Nora oh no I'm dead me man, <gasps> man Nora why'd you have to call me Go, 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 go. Shoot, I didn't grab the stool. Oh my God. I didn't grab the stool, man. I'm gonna get the call. <gasps> I don't know if that even does anything, but I'm trying it anyway. Kitty! What? Uh-oh. No. Don't come in here, dude. Be a dumb old man. Be a dumb old man. <gasps> They're here! Where's the kitty? Oh, hey, kitty. Are you all right? Just got done talking to other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Oh, boy. Do I go down? Hello? What is going on? He left at the back. Mike, he left at the back! Mike! He left out the back. I told him everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Wow. Hmm. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that man was we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. I was right! It was a squatter. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. Dang. Survive through the fifth episode. Hmm. Do the other ones have credits? I don't think I ever got the... Queso!
Yo. I feel like for all these games, there's always an ending, like a good ending, because aren't these true stories? Thank you for playing Fears to Fathom. Oh, did they find him over there? Oh, is that him? Dude. That was a good game. I love that. I cannot wait for the next one, even though this one just came out the other day. Uh, but anyway. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, it's been super fun playing Fears to Fathom. Uh, but that is the end. So I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Goodbye.